one way to think about an epidemic model is a chain reaction. I have one infected person that infects two other, that infects four, and so forth. Now, contrary to a bomb, which we know quite a bit about, um, we burn out of fuel eventually. That's when we achieve, or that's when the epidemic stops. Uh, we can try to slow it down by adding impurities, i.e. vaccination or isolation. Those people are then quarantined and are not involved. So because we have those kind of physical models that are reasonably realistic and we can model them at low level of um, geographic um, aggregation, it allows us to actually validate the data. Um, one of the things that comes out is that we believe we don't see everybody who is sick at this time. Uh, there may be many reasons for that, but that is something that our model is able to tell us. It's also able to tell us if, we are get, if the mitigation or the strategies that we're implementing are working, because we can compare what the models predict with the actual data that we are collecting. 